Cleveland Browns situation with Odell Beckham. I know it maybe not a big deal, but because it's OBJ, it's a bigger deal. Why didn't the officials just say to him, you can't wear the watch in the game? You, you wore it during warmups. Like, were, were they, they're always looking at uniforms. So how did somebody miss this watch on Odell Beckham? And why did they allow him to wear it in the game? Well, I, I'm assuming they didn't notice it. You know, guys wear wristbands all the time, and and it, it may have just been something that, that just that just wasn't noticed by anyone. They've got employees who check uniforms for compliance before the game. I, I don't know why he was allowed to wear the thing in the game. And at some point, that's what the NFL is going to say. You can't cross the thick white stripe and go out on the field unless you take this thing off. And I I, I don't I don't get it. I, I, I don't want to come <laughs> off as a get off my lawn type of a guy here. But just take off the watch. I mean, the same people who were saying to, uh, to Antonio Brown, just wear an approved helmet, just take the watch off. Why do you need to wear the watch? You don't need to know what time it is. You're, you're, in, you're not late for your plane. It's not leaving until the rest of the team is there. I just don't understand it. And the thing about OBJ, who I love as a player, and I do think he gets unfairly criticized, Dan, that he commits so many unforced errors. <laughs> he just doesn't – you know, he wants the attention, but he doesn't want – that thing that goes along with the attention, which is scrutiny. He wants attention on his own terms, and it doesn't work that way. And, yeah, he wants to look cool. He wants to look hip. He's got this watch. It was expensive. But you don't need to be wearing it. If the NFL is telling you not to wear it, just take the damn thing off. Wear it after the game. Well, he wanted everybody to notice it, and he got what he wanted. Now, if you're the NFL, you say, all right, you, you slip this one by the goalie here. We're going we're gonna to keep an eye on you here, and you can't wear it. And if you do, because he probably, whatever the fine is, but it, it, is this something where it's just a uniform violation and it's, it's a standard fine, or is this a safety violation? Well, they're claiming it's a safety violation because it's a hard object. Now, never mind the fact that every player on the field is wearing a hard object called a helmet, <laughs> but at least there's a reason for having a helmet. And that was a point he made about knee braces. Hey, guys are wearing knee braces. They're hard plastic and metal. Yeah, but there's a reason for wearing them. There's no reason to have a watch on, and at some point you just have to relent. And I really do think the way the NFL handles its uniform violations, the, pi the fines get higher and higher, and eventually – they will tell you you cannot play if you refuse to uh, take that watch off. And, and I can't imagine at that point him refusing to take the watch off. But hell, after everything we've seen with Antonio Brown the last month, who the hell knows what anybody's going to do anymore. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.